Hello fellow traders, welcome to Weekly Forecast, where we are going to look at where the Forex market, stock market, commodities markets are going to go for this week. So let's start with the trading plans for October. For Aussie we went up 307, for Euro pretty flat, GU 339, for GJ 387, New Zealand dollar 317 and Euro New Zealand 400 pips. And that makes a total of 1750. If you're looking into the economic calendar for next week, you need to look into these things. China, trade balance, the economic sentiment and the current situation in the European Union. You then need to look into consumer price and producer price out of China, the consumer price out of America, and you need to look into unemployment in Australia, and then lastly, mostly, GDP out of UK. So as we're taking a look at the markets, we have 10 year T note here, that is the US Treasury out of America that fell considerably on Friday and had a bearish week last week. The next thing we're coming into dollar is that this is potentially a fake out. I all understand that. But other than that, as long as we are above 93.80, this low here, we are then looking for to buy DXY at 94.20 or 94.00 going higher. And that is still a stop loss below 93.80. Moving over to stock market where we haven't really been touching into none of the buy zones for the past two weeks. We are still hoping this week we are going into either 46.67 or 46.46 or... Um, a deeper pullback would be even better for the month of November. So we're just waiting for this one to pull back more better for us to start buying and holding it to the moon. Aussie has been falling ever since the RBA meeting where they said, well, we're not going to be tapering anytime soon. We are not going to be helping out and supporting the economy. So this is kind of the best plan for this week is 7460 down to 73 area. That is my main trading uh, plan this week and I also think that you can sell it off at 74.33 uh, give or take that would be also considered to be a very nice trade and as long as we are below 75.50 of this price here I am considerable to the downside. Going over to Euro, what is happening on the Euro here? We are really not trending. So what is happening here? I'm just going to be straightforward. This is a range bound market. So this might not be the first one I will try, but I can try anyways. So for the next week, I hope that we can get a bearish price here. We have the bearish price close on Friday. That was a seller price. And the next one is 1590. So what you're thinking for this week is either that one down to 1488 or 1590 down there that would be two great setups if this is going to continue to trend and that depends as long as we are below 1620 i am confident this is going to fall further as long as that bearish pressure is still holding on for pound we hit target very early last week. so what does that mean that means higher risk of price going back up again what has happened since last time is that we haven't really been looking into a very important level here that is this level here so that's kind of my plan c for this week so if this comes up to center pivot that looks like a great sell the best sell i would say this week is 135.98 for me that would i think i would take that myself and then take it down to 133 if it comes down to 133, that is what major banks are thinking should be the target. So if you're coming down to 133 by Monday, get out of there, do something else, go adios amigos, um, I can't do uh, ad, uh, uh, do something else if it goes down there on Monday. But until then, wait for some pullback, hope for some pullback, and then uh, we will take it further. Stop loss is always above the previous high and not more than 50 pips. So if we take a entry there, okay, stop loss is too far here, but uh, yeah, 50 ish is still okay. Not really great, but I don't want it to risk too much of my account. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Pound yen, yen I am uh, bearish on. A bullish dollar bearish on yen, and I am. I don't like this one. I think this can still fall further. So if you're a seller, you're like, hey, this is fantastic. 
uh, from for 144, 154 to 151. But if you are a buyer, can you buy here? No, 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 no. Not at all, not at all, not a buy at all. So if we break higher or make some kind of bullish momentum, we do not hold 154, we do not hold 154.74, well, surely, brother, you can look for bullish price action. But right now, right now, I don't think that is going to happen. And if you look at the yen index, we are about to break higher. That is like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, chill, mate, chill. Okay, no, no, no. We can't, we can't sell a yen that's about to break higher. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, sell yen that's about to break higher. So, really? Chill out. The next one on the list is New Zealand yen. Ay, ay, ay. That looks uh, mwah, amazing. That looks like a great sell on Friday. Had a nice pullback, not a high or high. So to me, that's like uh, that's like mucho gusto. Uh, that is um, fantastic to the go to the lower side. So if if you're bearish on New Zealand and bullish on dollar, fantastic. If you are a buyer here, that is not the market you wanted to buy. Okay, you have to wait until Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to see how the week develops because you don't have bullish price action on the four hour and also not on the one hour. So yeah, let's chill on that one. And if you are a seller, uh, stop loss above 71, 78. Um, yeah, chill. So those are, I, th I think Aussie, Pound, New Zealand, all are good sell setup this week. USD CAD is another one which was remarkable, remarkable good unemployment rate out of Canada, but I haven't seen bullishness on CAD. CAD was actually falling on the last uh, bits of fri on Friday, so maybe they're just building up momentum for a different day. Um, so really, Friday was really not good. This is a lower low on CAD yen, uh, or USD CAD is having a higher high, and the last one is probably also all of us who are going to go into the next one, is maybe the reason why CAD is so weak. So if you're looking to buy this one, I think that, you know, pr pretty nice price action. I can also do that for you. You know, that was a good buy setup on Friday. So as you mentioned, as I mentioned on Trader Nick's live, as I mentioned on my own live, NFPs, if it's not too crazy, is actually considered to be your entry. And that might be the best price for this coming week. Okay, good. Now I told you that one too. Uh, the next one on Euro New Zealand is um, was looking great. Uh, it didn't break out higher, so I guess we are going back to break even again. But um, sure, sure, sure. Um, still considered to be upside. Six one sixty one eighty, like below this low here. Is your stop loss below below here? Not that price, but below it. And then you need to look for higher highs and higher lows and all those things. So you're probably looking into at least 64 something and higher. Depends how weak New Zealand becomes. As we are jumping into Auss yen pairs, I would look to sell uh, Aussie yen at 84.50, Euro yen at 131.50, New Zealand yen, yeah, 130, 181, 13 maybe ish. USDN, nope, uh, that is a range bout, nothing happening, nothing is going on, hasn't broken out, whatever happens. Nokian, uh, coming up to 13.35, great, 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 great. US oil seems to me, on Friday, to be very volatile. Now, is very volatile something you want to trade? No. So, I am suspicious expecting a bearish trend before going higher again. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, I'm suspecting it. I don't like what happened on Friday. And also the close price on Friday was spot on. At, uh, on the um, on the on the center pivot. But what's interesting here, I saw some reports, maybe not be true, but I saw some reports that Norway and America was condemning um, an attack on the Prime Minister of Iraq's residence, a drone attack. That could sell gold higher and um, oil higher, and I think that was from today or yesterday. So those kind of events, that needs to be uh, taken into account. That might need that oil is gonna open higher, and once the situation is seized within a few hours or days, 
oil is then going to go fall down and fall much further because such events are it's almost like a pump and dump where you like it just opens up much higher and then it goes a bit higher before it starts falling and when it starts making lower lows after such a situation that is going to be the new bearish trend because it exhausts the buyers mostly uh, coming into silver um nothing much here maybe there's a buy opportunity here at 2376 going up to 124.72 i don't know maybe 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 uh, coming into uh, Natgas as well, just having a fun there. Uh, maybe it's going to go higher at 55, 5.5, going higher to 6.1. You know, you know. For those trading Nasdaq, I would look into buy any kind of pullback here, and mostly 15,900, and then going up to 16.64. Well, what else? I'm going to hold it forever. For Bitcoin, I'm still looking for 56,000 and going higher and i'm looking for 52,000, and then going higher all the way up to 76,000 for this month of november gold made a higher high on friday why did it make a higher high on friday i've seen reports of whatever but what happened i think is that the what is it moderna pfizer pfizer came out with a new drug that says that it's going to help reduce the mortality of the coronavirus and that is good news that is good news that could also send the dollar down that could set gold up that could make the whole market go risk on the other one i saw was there were going to be some stimulus packages out of news out of japan that can also send the japanese yen lower but right now as they are standing at this moment they are uh, not bearish uh sorry yen is not bearish at the moment so you can't really sell it but if the stimulus package is going to have the impact I expect it to happen, uh, it's already priced in, so there's, therefore dollar per, yen pairs is going to fall. Gold, higher high, okay? Maybe a pull back to, to 1800 again, then higher. But do remember, manipulation has never stopped to amaze me. So if this does a 100% draw, drawdown again, is it absolutely within its capabilities, norm, and what normally happens to gold, okay? So if you're buying gold for the love of God, and your trading account, and your trading career, and your mental health, do not buy gold if you cannot handle more, if you cannot handle and move down to 1700 with a buy here, okay? The second one is if you buy at 1800 put your stop loss for, for yeah, uh, 1780 or lower okay if you cannot handle from 1800 to 1780 please please there's other things to do in this life than trading gold and losing on gold okay so up to 1850 uh if it just continues higher that is probably up to the market and if you are thinking of anything else please let me know and i will try to help you out thank you guys for watching i'll see you soon